Hey, Ellen, are you looking know. for? Are you looking know. for Paul Ecke? That's not his house. Oh, he doesn't live here. He lives over there somewhere. But this, in a way, this is Paul Ecke's house. This is the house of Ecke, the Ecke Ranch. House of Ecke. And it's the uh, the last stop on the last day of our 2012 Spring Trials yes, Tour. Yes, it is. Stop thanking your lucky <laughs> stars that you survived. Uh, what Ellen is looking at there is part of the, the whole kind of concept they've shown here with some nice vignettes uh, showing the use of their plants for uh, sun and for shade and uh, in commercial landscapes and around the mm -hmm. home. So that's a neat idea. It is. But uh, number one thing we want to show you here at Eki is, dig this, Eki Edibles. Eki Edibles. It's mm. a uh, full line, uh, just a starting line. They've got 55 varieties, and that's growing, of various herbs and vegetables. That's right. Look at that basil. Um, primarily cool. sourced through the Israeli breeder Hishtil, Hishtil who yep. we saw up the coast, as a matter of fact. Uh, now, the key here is that this is not going to be a brand. Uh, you're not going to see P.O.P. and tagage and signs. They're not trying to compete with the Bonnies and the Burpees of the world, but they're trying to give a, a supply to growers mm -hmm. who happen to need some vegetables to add into their That's line. Right. So we'll see more, more of this, come. more varieties. They're going for good flavor and interesting um, plant forms. Is that correct? That's right. Uh, some new and unique things are going to come down the road in a few days. All eight right. Years. Right. And they're also aiming at a younger audience with these, too. They want this so. to be finished products in the store. Right. So right. that's uh, Eki Edibles. And segueing off of the, the Eki mm -hmm. Edibles is uh, the Eki Design, Design Center. Center. This is a concept they, uh, they introduced uh, several years ago now. It started out kind of as trends and concepts. What are consumers into color and texture and uh, 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 texture wise? Now they want to go a little bit beyond that and make it uh, accessible to growers and right. retailers, their customers. And what they've done is they've partnered with, I think they said a dozen different packaging companies. Here we're mm -hmm. looking at Aru, uh, we've got Braun Braun's in here. Over here. Yeah. We've got uh, uh, McConkie and uh, Novelty and Walled Imports. Mm -hmm. uh, a good handful of them with all different mm -hmm. kinds of containers. Right. They'll and source the containers for you. That's the thing. They will source, not only source containers for you, but they will help you develop uh, tagage, uh, ta tagging and signage and things to go along mm -hmm. with the container. Right. So they will help you develop a program. As long as you buy genetics from Eki, right. it's a free service. It'll be free. So that's, that's a deal. That's the Eki Design Center. And I already see some ideas here I'd like to uh, see in my local garden center. All right, these folks have found uh, probably the most exciting thing that everybody's talking about mm -hmm. here at Eki, and that is a new line of begonias, a tuberous basket series called Arcada. And this particular one, Ellen, what is that? It's apricot bicolor. Oh my gosh, that Beautiful. is spectacular. Beautiful there are six blue. colors in this series. That's right, this is orange. There is a yellow, light pink, scarlet, and white. Six Whatever. colors. These are obviously very vigorous. Um, they do need a little bit of shade if you've got them out in the, out in the landscape or in your garden center. Uh, even more shade if you're in the heat. But mm -hmm. uh, what a spectacular series. Now this is the kind of thing I think that's going to be perfect for a, a retail a grower. Center. You're not going to put a lot of these on a truck and ship them very easily. for. So hey, you IGC guys and small growers, this is for you. Then Good one idea. more series right down here, Ellen. Nordic. Uh, Nordic. This is Nordic Fire. And this is actually a begonia pendula. Pen pendula, yes. Mm -hmm. There's two in this, and this one is dawn. This I is like a the, uh, combination of single and double flowers. I like the way the foliage looks on top. Beautiful oh, bright yeah, green, yeah. nice little swirl going on up there. This is another great uh, begonia for the retail grower, the small grower. Now we've got some new geraniums over here, a new regal geranium. This is uh, in the elegance line. This is burgundy frost. Beautiful color. And uh, in the uh, the maestros. This has got an interesting name. This is Violicious. And uh, if you want to see oh, a great beautiful. zone on a geranium, that is definitely a zone. It's uh, in, on salmon frills. Look at look at the zone on that. That's as good as it gets right there. And then uh, down here we've got a, a true ivy geranium. This is uh, ruby. Nice bright red foliage. Uh, excuse me, flowers. I know the difference, trust me. <laughs> Do you? 
And then the last one here, this is interesting. A couple of years ago, they introduced uh, Fusion uh, Flame, was it? Fusion Fire, I think. This is the second color in the Fusion series. This is Fusion Polka. And this is an interspecific uh, cross between an Ivy and a Zonal. So that's just a few things in geraniums. Now we're gonna take a look at uh, some Coleus and some Fuchsias. Hey, Ellen, how about a fuchsia for the summer heat? Yeah, take a look at that. This is Fuchsia City Lights, which joins uh, Happy Lights and Electric Lights. Day length neutral, heat tolerant, uh, nice and compact. Lots Thanks. of flowers. Great variety there. And out of Eki's own breeding, one of their points out of breeders actually dabbles in Ipomea or yeah. sweet potato. This one is, is uh, ragtime. Uh, deeply cut leaf, very dark oh, yeah. foliage, and compact. It's not going to take over a basket. And speaking of dark, dark, dark leaves, oh, dig this one. That's uh, out of the Stained Glass Works program. That's called Tempest. And some really nice ruffling going on on the leaves. Ellen is going to show how Tempest can really liven up that petunia yeah. over there. Combine those two. Look at that. What's Brings the petunia? Uh, this is Super Cal Vanilla Blush. There you go, that's a striking container. I the standalone, though, look at the color of this one. I love this. Luminous. This is also the stained glass works. I hope that comes through in the camera, that pink, the, the green and the yellow in there a little bit. Really striking. And uh, now I am going to show you one more very interesting flower that has nothing to do with spring trials whatsoever. I wore red just for this Christmassy occasion. Well, really, it's just my last clean shirt after eight days, but uh, it was the right one to wear because we're looking at poinsettias here. Everybody knows Eki is the king of poinsettias, has been for three generations now. Here's the latest exciting one, Sparkling Punch. Beautiful. It's a relative of, take a look at it below, you know Ice, Ice punch. punch, super popular. Now, you've only got one problem, Ellen, with this particular poinsettia. You know what it, you know what it is? They're sold out are sold out for 2012 already. You're too late. So get your order in for 2013. And I want to yeah. leave you uh, with one last reminder, and that is 12-12-12. What is that, Ellen? It's not the Mayan calendar into the world, mm, is it? I hope not, no. because this is National Poinsettia Day. Ah. And I don't want my last day to be spent watching my poinsettias get crumbled up in the earthquakes and, uh, and uh, stuff falling out of the sky. So I don't think that'll happen. But if it does, make sure you're celebrating with a poinsettia.